Hi, uh, back here, home in Switzerland, uh, way up in the mountains. Uh, actually, it's pretty damn close to heaven as far as I can see. Uh, water comes out of the hillside, uh, fresh milk, organic foods. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than this. It's great to be home. The, war, uh, the road trip was good, good. I could have been busier, but that will come. Uh, one of the things that I want to address today, when I hear the question why in my classes, I usually answer with X, J, L, F. And when people pursue, I tell them that if they're going to throw out random letters of the alphabet, I'm going to throw out random letters of the alphabet and just see what, uh, why they're throwing out random letters of the alphabet. I point out to them that Y is one of my favorite letters. Uh, it can be used as a vowel or a consonant, one of the few that can, and, and that's quite exciting as far as I can see. But Y, as a question, uh, usually uh, is designed to put somebody in their head, which might, I know you can't fit in your head. That's such an easy term. But what, it, what it's designed to do is get you to think about things that you don't normally think about. It, and when you're thinking about them, it does not enhance your vitality or your presence, your present time consciousness. You're usually out thinking about something. But we have to go to the paradox of life a lot of times. We have to look at life as this and this, and it's a paradoxical event. And uh, it, things that happen, but there's no explanation for it. People say, why? I was talking to my brother-in-law, and we were talking about cigarette and tobacco, and uh, they've got a real neat little new thing that they inhale. And most my sister and brother-in-law are smokers, and it gives off steam and puts nicotine in their system. And it looks like a real cigarette. It's real cute in a restaurant because people go, no smoking, but then it's not really smoking. It's steaming, uh, but there's no odor to it. But I was walking through the... I think it was Gatwick Airport. And there was a big billboard, a very big billboard. And it said, ingredients found in cigarettes. And it went on and 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 on. And there was, I don't know, hundreds of ingredients. When the North Americans came over and found tobacco from the Indians, which was a ritual, they put rolled up the tobacco, and it was tobacco. And you might become mildly addicted to tobacco, but... I was saying to my brother-in-law, you know, you, there's hundreds of ingredients in this. And I read it, and I read it quite, I guess, casually. Because one of the things, he said, okay, I, I can see that maybe there is this many different ingredients in it. But why? Why would somebody add all that stuff to a cigarette? <laughs> and, you know, it's put me in my head. It's caused me to think. It's caused me to look at things. I really don't know. If anybody out there knows why they're adding, and I know I hear that it's to sell more cigarettes and to add, you know, the addictive qualities to the cigarettes, and that, that, my suspicion is really, really strong, but um, I really don't know. Have fun. I'll talk to you soon.